Welcome back to Latin Rite Restoration. Been very busy. You guys are probably wondering where I've been. Uh, struggling, mostly. Uh, struggling mightily. Uh, and that is because um, I had somebody helping me, uh, an artist helping me do the faux finishing. I can do the faux finish, but some other people can do it, I think, better than I can. So that's how that went. But now I'm doing it. And uh, here it is, right here. Okay, this is what I've now done. Uh, it didn't, they didn't look, see it looks pretty cool. Actually it looks really nice. Oh yeah. There we are, and over here. Some of you guys probably are even wondering, what the heck pieces of furniture are this? We haven't seen them, because mostly what you guys have seen are the side altars. Well now we're getting into the main altar. And this is all the stuff that we were working on way before I ever started the channel. Uh, so these pieces, this is the tabernacle piece, and you guys have seen the main altar, yeah, if I can talk, the main altar quite a bit. Um, so what's going on here? Well, this faux finishing process is actually uh, done with, uh, if I can get that on there, actually done with uh, water-based paint. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. Uh, but what happened was I had a lot of trial and error. I had faux finished this piece, this piece, some other pieces, and I didn't like the way it turned out. And uh, so I sanded all that down. Of course, I did all that over the course of last week, sanded it all down and removed everything uh, so we could start fresh. And then now that I've finally, through a lot of prayer, uh, thank you, and uh, we've got it. So now we're running with it and we're trying to get all of this done by Easter, which is pretty soon. Like so many things in life, there's a lot of ways to do this. I'm using water base, which is basically, I've already, maybe I've already mentioned, it's just a bare uh, acrylic water-based uh, paint uh, from Home Depot. And then I've just got it in the colors that I want, which I just got a, a, a big old can, or a little can, I should say, a quart can of black, and then another one of white, which I mixed them to be slightly creamy. And uh, anyway, <laughs> it's that simple. Seeing as how it's water-based, it's really easy to work with. I like to just go ahead and wet it very slightly. Try not to get it too wet. And then uh, you can either use a reference picture of marble. Uh, I always recommend uh, looking at a lot of different pictures of marble so that you're not just, you know, making it look like something that couldn't possibly exist in nature. Uh, although I, you'll, you'll know by, by looking at a lot of pictures of marble that it's, I don't care if it's a specific kind of marble, which is what we're going for here is actually called a calicata. But there's so many different variations of that. There's like the calicata oro, which is kind of gold and stuff like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel like that guy, what was that guy, Bob Ross or whatever is the guy like little trees. I'm just sort of, I'm just sort of uh, being as random as I can be. Now, the fractal nature, it's literally fractal, because it's like <laughs> nature of, um, of marble, uh, the way it's uh, laid down over time is uh, as pieces break, they kind of fall in, there's fissures, things fall into it, and then it's backfilled with other minerals, and then, it's, and then things lay on top of it, and uh, it's compressed down, and then uh, that's what you end up with. So that's why, uh, as you can see down here, I've got, I've got that going on. And then up here, you know, on this one, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. And you don't want to get, at least for me, I don't like getting a huge area going uh, just because you, you can kind of lose control of it. And, uh, and like I said, remember this is water-based, so if you get it super wet, you can end up with some, uh, you can get up with some issues. Now I'm going to come in here with a, with a second color of gray, which is just a little bit darker, right? And I'm just going to work this in in a couple of spots. Now, if it looks like I'm being kind of like either random or not random enough or whatever, don't worry, because uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, uh, we're going to do something that's going to capitalize on that uh, fractal nature. And uh, I'm going to grab. Eh, Should have had it here for the shot. So one of the ways to capitalize on the fractal look is to use plastic, which is crinkled up. And then I can kind of come in here and I can give it a nice effect, right? 
There's, a, there's some things that are very subtle about this that you guys won't be really privy to unless you started doing this yourself. And that is, you, you, you can kind of let it get to certain levels of being dry and certain levels of being wet. So you can achieve different looks, right? Because that's where you're gonna get a lot of variance in color. What you want, you don't wanna do it, get in here and just start smearing it around, okay? Because you're, you're going to, uh, you're gonna lose some of this wonderful randomness, you know, that we're gonna be uh, going for here. Now this can be kind of dangerous, not physically dangerous, <laughs> but All right, I can see that it's getting a little, if you get it too wet, it's just gonna start running down, which can give you a cool look. If you look down here, uh, you can see that it's got uh, kind of some of that going a little bit. All right. The, uh, the water is more useful when this is uh, sitting flat you know what I mean? I'm working on the horizontal surface instead of this vertical uh, plane like this. But this is perfectly okay too. So I can also grab and drag, right? This, uh, this uh, the plastic method is absolutely fantastic for giving it some very interesting texture. And one of the things we definitely want to do is we want to have plenty of places where our background color is peeking through because that is very much an important aspect is it to have a brightness to it uh, that marble naturally has. We got a really dark spot. We can even kind of get in here and once the plastic has some just kind of a buildup of paint on it, I can kind of come in, in here and use it randomly to put down little bits. And then I'm just going to come in here and adjust it with the brush as I want to. Now I gotta be, I gotta be careful when I'm doing this from a technique standpoint, because I don't wanna, if I just get in here and I start brushing around, I'm gonna be losing uh, all of this, uh, this really interesting detail that I've been, uh, that I've been putting in here run right here right uh, that uh, you don't want too much of that but remember this is drying the whole time that you're working with it so uh, you can come you'll just I'll just come back to that in a second and capitalize on that all right so we kind of have this very interesting sort of almost like liquid texture going because it is a set in, in essence liquid and then what I can do is I'm going to take the brush and you see I'm pushing with it and I can sort of steer this into a, into a vein, into a veiny structure. Remember, we, we don't want it to be too like perfectly well defined in, in sometimes, unless if that's our intention, because it's not like that does not exist within marble. All right. So, but we want to have some kind of like some areas where there's like a demarcation where we can get this really defined uh, marble look defined through randomness <laughs> of all things. All right, so I'm getting a really neat texture here. So I can go ahead and test in here and I can see that I'm starting to dry pretty well, but I actually want it to. So what else I have is uh, I have the ability to come in here and I can kind of create some negative spaces. Now I did that down here and you see how that ends up having a very natural appearance because our, our experience of seeing marble is of things like that. Okay, so while and so it's not just about coloring, sometimes it's about removing, right? And, uh, and I'm just gonna come in here and be as random as I possibly can and you can see already that that's starting to come together and, and give us that real marble-esque appearance. So let's see. All right, this is getting really dry over here, which sometimes dry rubbing it can give you some interesting looks too. Um, 
All right. So basically, that is our first stage of marbling. And we've got a lot of nice variability in here. So you can see I'm putting some more well-defined veins in it because marble has that. So I've got a nice, like naturally occurring one here that was just because the way I brushed it and then when I sprayed it and then I came back and I went ahead and I bagged it, um, that it just sort of like laid out this darker line that created a natural vein. That's really kind of, that's really kind of what we're going for here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna go ahead and use just the very tip of this brush. And I'm gonna to try to make a very thin veiny structure that's just coming up just like that. Now I am gonna have end up having to come up over this edge. I'm not actually gonna do that right now. I'm gonna come back and mess with that separately. All right. So now some of this I'm not like super pleased with. So I'm just gonna soften it, come back and soften it with a brush. Now I don't wanna get rid of my details. So a lot of times what I wanna do is I wanna actually push with the brush, push with it. And it's okay to come in here and like wipe an area just with your finger or whatever. Cause what, remember what we're trying to do here is we're trying to we're trying to have it look like it's got fade. It goes like dark light, dark, dark light, because that's how the natural material is. Okay. So that is actually pretty much done. And what else you guys will notice is this all happens very quickly. And uh, you can slow it down a little bit with, by using more water. Um, but then you run into the problem of the water is just sort of blasting everything out and it's very scattered. Uh, I'm going to show you guys now this was a vertical treatment. Uh, right here. So I'm going to show you guys what a more like a, a horizontal one is going to be. And it gives us a much, you can get a much different look because you're kind of like working on it as kind of sitting on top rather than, you know, if you get it, so if you get it too wet, anyway, we'll talk when we get there, I'll show you. <laughs>